I discovered that uh, I have this AF uh, after a drinking session and I feel that there were ants running on my body. But when I tried to search for the ant, I couldn't find anyone. So I think maybe it's something unusual. So that uh, I went to a hospital. He told me that he need me to be warded immediately. The next day, the doctor told me that uh, I had this uh, uh, AF. Three years ago, somewhere in March, I was admitted to this hospital for arterial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation or AF is essentially a, a heart rhythm abnormality that is characterized by disorganized electrical activity within the top chambers of the heart. So most patients would present uh, either with an abnormal electrocardiogram or ECG or present to their doctors with symptoms of irregular heartbeats and some of them may even present with shortness of breath or what we call heart failure in the worst case situation. There is a tendency to form clots in the top chamber of the heart and if these clots fly off or embolize to, to the brain, uh, the patient gets a stroke. Atrial fibrillation, depending on the number of risk factors, can be treated with medication as a first rung. Uh, if you had very little risk factors, a simple agent called an antiplatelet agent like aspirin can be used to treat this disorder. However, with more risk factors, uh, stronger drugs like antitropotic agents like warfarin, uh, dabigatran, or rivaroxaban may be used. Uh, but these drugs, when used, have a higher chance of bleeding. So that I went on warfarin and I was given a meter for testing my blood on a weekly basis. And this is really bothering me when I am travelling. But I don't know all the complications in my body, in my kidney stones, my uh, diabetic, all add up. I have these complications. So with your warfarin, I was having some bleeding and having this uh, urinary infection. But there might be some patients who uh, are not able to take this type of medication because they have a tendency to bleed or they have bled before. Because uh, I went back to see the doctor, the do told the doctor that I have this uh, internal bleeding from the stomach and the uh, doctor advised that I need to stop warfarin and uh, go for this uh, procedures for closure of the bandage. And now there's a a better and uh, sort of uh, an alternative to treating patients with uh, atrial fibrillation preventing stroke using this device called the left atrial appendage closure device. In order to do this procedure, most patients would be brought to the uh, catheterization laboratory. This is done oftentimes under sedation, sometimes uh, under general anesthesia. So in order to monitor the procedure, a patient has to undergo uh, something called a transesophageal echo, which is essentially a procedure to monitor and see where the device is in the heart. This procedure basically involves a small little needle puncture from the groin. Uh, from the right side of the heart, we do a procedure known as a transeptal puncture, crossing from the right atrium to the left atrium. After we cross the heart, we place uh, a little catheter in the left atrial appendage to mark out the position of the left atrial appendage. And thereafter, we implant a cap, a little metal scaffold that acts a little bit like a shower cap to cover over the opening of the left atrial appendage. Uh, this prevents any clots that may form inside the left atrial appendage from uh, potentially embolizing off into the brain and causing stroke. I don't feel anything where all, all the way after the operation, I was okay, feel all right. The next day, I was discharged. The recovery is pretty short. Uh, most of the time, the patients can be up and about about four to six hours after the procedure, and they would be assessed again the next day using an echocardiogram to make sure that there are no complications. And if everything is fine, they can be discharged the second day. This procedure is relatively safe. Um, it's been now shown in many series that the complications arising from this procedure is, is less than 3%. And these complications basically involve bleeding uh, during the procedure. However, as experience grows with this procedure, we have not found any significant complications after this procedure. It's already three years and I uh, don't have such problems having this uh, arterial fibrillation. After the treatment, uh, I don't need 
to do blood testing anymore. My traveling becomes so much easier. I don't feel any ends with me anymore.